Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Midwest Market Solutions Insider Commentary. Today is um, Tuesday, January the 17th. Well, we're seeing sharply higher overnight grain prices, followed by overnight uh, strength here in the grains as the markets have reopened. There was a private sale of 103,000 corn to an unknown destination this morning. That sparked a little bit of buying interest in the wheat. We found some strength as well as Egypt bought 235,000 metric tons of wheat over the weekend. Uh, Nopal crash will be out at 11 o'clock this morning. We're looking for about 162.8 million bushels is the trade estimates. We'll have weekly export inspections this morning as well as uh, yesterday was a holiday and the inspections were delayed one day. On Friday we'll have weekly export sales as they will not come out on their normal Thursday because of the holiday. The big news is uh, the weather in South America where we had some rain, some flooding in parts of Argentina. Now the forecasts are for two dry conditions over the next 10 days and that's really soybeans about 25 cents here as I record this. Meal is really the upside leader. We're almost $14 higher and uh, 20 is a limited meal. So you can see we're on a percentage basis, meal is really outgaining anything and, and given the strength of the soybean market. Corn's a follower up about six cents, six and a half cents, and uh, wheat and oats are also tagging along here on spillover strength. We expect the cattle would be stronger this morning. Some 120 cash trade developed after the futures closed on Friday. That has given us a bounce here, 40, 50, up to 90 cents this morning. Um, we may not last or sustain this uh, cattle rally. We may pull back here a little bit, but uh, at least initially this morning, we're seeing some buying interest, some follow-through strength after the uh, markets showed uh, better cash than what was expected. Uh, we've been outlining a bullish soybean market in our Commitment to Traders report analysis. Um, we have uh, been looking at that for a couple weeks now. So if you haven't received our weekly newsletter where we talk about the Commitment to Traders report extensively in our own analysis, that's a great place to uh, find out which markets are set up for bullish and bearish stances. Right now, cattle market is commitment traders report anyway. Very bearish stance, just like the soybean market was bullish, and we've seen the bean market really take off and rally. Have a great day. Contact us to get your copy of our newsletter. This has been Brian Hoops from Midwest Market Solutions. Have a great day trading.